In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to deploy your PHP files to OpenShift using SFTP. First of all, log in into your account. And once we are logged in, let's create a new application. We will use PHP application, the basic one. So name your project. I'll use SFTP demo and create application. Once the application is created, just keep this window open because we will need the information from here. Here you can see the template that is deployed by default. So start PHP Storm. And in PHP Storm, we will create a new project using the create new project from existing files that is in the left bottom column. So web server using FTPS. Let's name it whatever you want. Here we create the connection. So I'll name it OpenShift. The host is the host name of your application. The username is the unique ID. We will use key pair. So you have to choose your key. Mine is in users, MLN, and in a hidden directory, dot ssh. And now I can choose my ID RSA. and the rest we can keep as is. The last thing we will need is the root path. For that we have to SSH into our gear and check the path from there. So I will start my console, SSH, the URL string, yes. Now I am in and I will type pwd which prints working directory I have to go to app root repo and get the full path to this directory. And put it in the root path. This specifies where page pstorm should look for your files. Here I have to set up my uh, passphrase for the key. Now we are connected. OpenShift is loading the files and we will set up the project root on the top. So that's all. Here we can use just a slash to specify the path. Now PHP Storm will connect to OpenShift, will download the files that are already in the directory and will create a local project with these files. Now the files are being downloaded. And the project is being created and opened. We will unroll the files and the PHP directory and index.php file which we will edit. So I will scroll down to the ribbon and change the title. And once I am done, I will upload the file to OpenShift using SFTP. and upload to OpenShift. Now PHP Storm is connecting and uploaded the file. We can switch to the browser and check that the ribbon is really changed. But clicking every time can be a bit tedious. So we will go to preferences. 
the key map and in tools deployment upload to default server and download from default server i will set up the key bindings for these actions so command shift s for uploading and command shift d for downloading and i will remove the previously bind actions for these keys so once i want to upload a file it's as simple as using this keyboard shortcut to put the file on OpenShift and I don't have to click or do anything else. So let's edit the file once again. And let's use the key binding and upload the file there. You can see that the file is changed once again. The last thing I will show you is uh, the saving functionality, if you go to the deployment and options, you can see upload change files automatically. So once you save a file using command S, the file is automatically uploaded to OpenShift. For local uh, saving, uh, PHP Storm is automatically saving the files on the background. Let's change the file once again and just save using command S and the file is uploaded back to OpenShift and in the browser you can see that it's changed really.